Hello again, this is Focus with the third part of the tutorial explaining how to manage the data transfer cartridge. The third part is about the lines inside the data transfer cartridge. And of course you will see here the list of the steer points the lines contain. Every line has the option to use five steer points that will be connected to each other as a line. And if you want to navigate to a certain point in that line you can just look it up here and as an example if you want to navigate to that corner of a line we insert steer point 38 as the main steer point and we can navigate towards that point so not only do you have 24 steer points for your route you have a lot more steer points that you can navigate to as with the steer point part you see here the basic buttons showing you at which file we're looking at this time it is the callsign.ini my callsign.ini is of course called falcos.ini and we can also have a look at the tactical engagement file as you can see here no file has been loaded at this time and of course then the lines are empty so let's quickly load the mission.ini file to have a look how that looks and I can show you a couple of changes Here you can see that we're looking at the technical engagement.ini or mission.ini and here you see all the steer points that are building up those lines. And after we have loaded a mission.ini you can also see a button up here, copy to call sign. In some cases you want to copy those, but for normal use this is not necessary. You can also clear all the lines if you want here. And of course, after you made a changement, you can just save the callsign.ini and mission.ini. The next part is just new. This is the backup function. For example, we have here a package of lines and uh, during a campaign, we want to share those lines with fellow pilots. So we need to export or make a backup of these lines. and the fellow pilot can then use the load function to load in these lines in the callsign.ini and then actually save your DTC and your fellow pilot then has exactly the same lines as you have. Weapon Delivery Planner also contains a database with some lines in it already and these lines are for certain areas on the map and I'll show you here where they are. This is of course for the Korean theater as the Korean theater is selected and you can see that we have all the military operating areas and restricted areas inside as a database and I'll just quickly show you the HMI ABC line. If I hit apply you'll see the steer points actually change. You see the green button change to red again so I will save the data transfer cartridge. To show you what the result is of this I quickly show you in the map where this line actually is placed at this time and you see here the ACMI Alpha Bravo Charlie section and you see the, the line already drawn over it so this is a very quick way if you want to insert one of the restricted areas or military operating areas you can do it by just using the database that is inside Weapon Delivery Planner, selecting your line as you want, Military Operating Area 9 for example, and the line gets drawn. You also see the text no line, of course no line means there is nothing. And there is another option in this list. If you want to get rid of only this line, you can select it here, no line. If you hit apply, the line disappears. Or if the line is hand drawn and is not a special area, then it will show you the text random line. 